What's up YouTube, Dazzle here. Welcome guys to another awesome video here on the channel. Today, we're gonna have some fun opening up some more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! product. Before we get into the product opening, I definitely ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out more awesome videos here on the channel. And, um... Share some videos, guys. Let's. I want to get uh, some more followers. I'm definitely gonna start putting more videos out. Let's get this uh, this channel growing, guys. Definitely, because I want to start getting some more awesome product openings for you guys. So let's start growing this channel. Can we get to 200 subscribers next? All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up some really fun stuff. Probably one of the greater sets or like subsets that's come out in recent years. We're gonna open up some premium gold, infinite gold, baby. Let's go. I love this set. I actually opened up a case of this when this product first came out, and it was just, wow, way too good. So much, like, value in these. And they are still good. They're so good. You can still find them online for, like, $50, $60. Um, if you can get them, I would highly recommend finding them really cheap. I mean, there's some sellers on eBay that have them um, for pretty low, like, $55, 58 I highly recommend getting some of these guys. There's some insanely good cards in here, and cards that are just going to always be good and always will go up. You just have great exceeds like Castell, Abyss Dwellers. That stuff's never going to be worthless. And then you have Ghost Ogre in here, Max C. And you have Ignister, Luster Pendulum, all the Cosmo cards, all the Burning Abyss cards. So there are some great cards in here, great value. Always great. Always making your money back for sure on these cards. So we've got two displays to open. That is going to be 30 booster packs. Because there are five mini boxes per display and three booster packs per mini box. So, let's go ahead and fast forward real quick. Cue that Lucio speed boost music, guys. Because we're going to open these bad boys up. And I'm just going to open up all 30 packs straight. I don't want to just open mini box for mini box. I just want to open some packs, guys. Let's go. Cue that Lucio speed boost music. Alright guys, we are back. Man, oh man. It's like a freaking marathon opening up all these things. Just, just, ugh, so much packaging. But, we have got 30 premium gold infinite gold booster packs. Let's go ahead and crack these guys open. I am super excited to open this set again. Like I was saying before, this was one of like my favorite like subsets that I've opened, that have ever like come out in the recent years. Um, just great cards and just cool stuff cool new cards just great, just great reprints overall um of course we want to find some of those cool chase cards um even if we just get like one copy dude i mean that would be pretty cool but um let's see what we get we got 30 booster packs let's go get started opening up our premium gold infinite gold booster pack number one all right we've got the constellar ptolemy m7 oh yeah pleiades is in here emeralds in here we got the Black Horn of Heaven. This is our first gold secret rare. We've got Breakthrough Skill. Nice. Always a great card. Then we've got the Dark Advance as our second gold secret. And we've got, oh baby, a Max C in our first booster pack. Let's go. Hell yeah. I love it. Let's go. Let's get the, let's sleeve that bad boy up in our awesome white Ultra Pro sleeves. Sleeve up that Max C. Beast. Nice. I like it. What a great first booster pack. A maxi right off the bat. Can we follow it up with a ghost ogre? Let's go smash that like button, guys. But we can follow it up with a Daiguso Emerald. What? That is insane. A Daiguso Emerald in our second booster pack. Even though his card's banned, he's still worth like $10. <gasps> I can't even finish sleeping the card. We got a Cosmo Dark Destroyer in the same pack. And a giant <laughs> And number 106. Insane. Sukumo Slash. Is it? Oh, it's a Burning Abyss. Damn. If it was a Ghost Ogre, I would have been dead. That was like, that was a booster pack, guys. Man. Daigusa Emerald into Cosmo Dark Destroyer into number 106 Giant Hand. Giant Hand. That is some spice. Like, that is some thick booster packs right there all right let's go that was hype that pack was some hype all right let's go booster pack number three we've got lightning shidori another good classic 
old um you know ultra rare ultimate rare reprint we got a void trapple mistake these are always good too and then we've got the red supremacy and a rubik malabron so the burning abyss i think the burning abyss cards are always in that last um slot if i'm not mistaken last time i opened this hey there we go this is some good card right here black rose dragon gold rare that's always good to get oh maybe there we go a beatrice Lady of the Eternal, nice suit. And a Storming Mirror Force, too. Then we got Frost Blast of the Monarchs, followed up by Barbar. Malabar, show the burning of the. Alright, Beatrice, we're gonna sleeve you up for sure. That is a good card right there. Um, guess we'll put our cards. We got some. We already got five really good cards. And we got some good chasers over here. Not gonna bother sleeping those ones right now. I only have a small stack of seeds brought over here. All right, next up, we got a Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. That is always a good card. Fire Hand. I remember when this card was so nuts. The hat format. It was such a random format, dude. Just most random deck I've ever seen. Just so weird seeing a toolbox deck like that in today's Yu-Gi-Oh archetype city, dude. We got a Spell Shattering Arrow. Followed up by Angmaro, the Fiendish Monarch, and the Traveler in the Burning Abyss. Not a good pack at all. <laughs> Just the Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon was good in that pack. The rest of it was kind of it. Alright, next booster Infinite Gold. We've got Constellar Pleiades, followed up by a Treacherous Trap Hole. And we've got the Shared Ride. And uh, there we go, baby, at number 38, Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. That is a mouthful. But what a good card. And then we got Graf, Malabrant, to the Burning Abyss. You're definitely gonna sleeve up that guy. How would a player's choice sleeve get into my Ultra Pro stack? I'll never know. Alright. Beast. Keep the momentum, guys. Some good pulls so far. And we've only gotten a few packs opened up. Alright, next one we've got Bahamut Shark as our gold rare. Followed up by Ice Hand to go with our Fire Hand. We got Emergency Teleport. Nice. It's a good chase card. Junkaribo. And another Graph. Malabranch of the Burning Abyss. Now we'll get some Dante's, man. Dante is just one of those cards, man. All right. We've got Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon again. Hey, here we go. Cosmo Town. Nice. Put the Cosmo stuff down here, too. We got Remove Brainwashing. And then we've got The King's Consonants. And another Traveler and the Burning Abyss. Nice. Cosmotown. Thought it was a gold secret rare in this set. Alright. Next pack, guys. We've got Norito, the Moral Leader. Followed up by a Cosmo Farm Girl. Nice. Like it. And we've got the Mistaken Arrest. Followed up by a Magical King Moonstar. And Alec. Malabranch of the Burning Abyss. What a fun set. Like, I really like the Gold Series pack. It's such a good idea. I'm like, I'm not too keen on the Gold Secret Rares idea. I just like the straight up golds with a bunch of commons in them. Like, I miss that version of the Gold Series, but I just like the gold borders. Like, cards look so cool. Like, Majester Paladin. One of my favorite XCs, man. I love this card. And there's the Cosmo Forerunner. Followed up by Mistaken Arrest. And then we got a number 77, the Seven Sins. It's a good card. We got Alec Malabranch of the Burning Abyss. Very good, very good. Some mini mines out of my. Uh... <laughs> oh wow, that really like killed the camera for some reason. I don't know why my camera is like has a hard time autofocusing these days. I'm gonna buy a new camera, man. Like, dang, this camera just gone down the crapper for some reason lately. All right. Next booster pack, we've got another Lightning Shidori, followed up by a Cosmo Town, number two. And we've got another Storming Mirror Force, nice. Number 37, Hope Whooping Dragon Spider Shark, that's a good card. And we've got a Cow Cab, Malabran, to the Burning Abyss. I'm just gonna actually just put these guys, the Chaser cards in their own stacks. They're just gonna get spread out, because there are so many good cards in this set. So I'm just gonna keep laying them out. Hey, there's a classic right there. Vector Pendulum, the Draco Overlord. Him and Luster. Those are some cool cards. Oop, 
he's not a gold seeker right though. And we've got the Cosmo the Wicked Witch, Darth Maul himself. Herself, I mean. We've got Reasoning. Another number 38 Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. I love saying that whole name, it's so dumb. So many words. And a Maxi! Ah, <laughs> yes! What a booster pack, ladies and gentlemen. A Maxi and a Hope Harbinger Dragon. I gotta go grab some more sleeves. I've only got three sleeves left. If our luck is gonna be keeping up this way, we're gonna need a whole pack of sleeves. Man, we're not even through the first side yet. Two Maxis and two Hope Harbingers? Beast. All right, next booster pack. Let's go. Let's go. Can we find a Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries? We won't find a Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries because she's not in the set. But we can find a Ghost Ogre <laughs> and Snow Rabbit. All right, Magister Palum, the Ascending Draco Slayer. Followed up by Cosmo Good Witch. Draco Face Off. What a good card. What were they thinking printing this card? The Phantom Knights of Shade, Brigandine. And a Seer, Malabranch of the Burning Abyss. Dude. I'm so hyped to play Burning Abyss again, guys. Like, once that uh, Link dude comes out, Nephthys or whatever, whatever its name is. No, Q. Cupid size. It has a, it starts with a C. I think it's like QP, Cupid or something like that. Whatever the name is. What a good card. It's a freaking foolish burial every turn. That's insane. And it doesn't kill your, your burning abyss. That it'll link to it. I already got Constellar Pleiades. Cosmo Dogfighter. Gold Secret Rare. It's actually usable. It's good with uh, uh, full force fires. Reasoning. Oh, we've got uh, another mouthful. I don't really want to say his name. Just the Phantasmal Lord. And then we've got another Traveler in the Burning Abyss. No Fire Lakes yet. All right, our last pack on the right-hand side. Can we find a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit? All right, we've got Norido, the Moral Leader. Followed up by another Cosmo Farm Girl. Nice. We've got a Mask Change, number one. And a Magical King Moonstar. And a Calcap, not a branch of the Burning Abyss. All right. That first side was pretty nuts. Two Hope Harbingers, a giant hand, two Maxis. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, we're in it. We got 15 down, 15 to go. I've only got one sleeve left and it's a red sleeve. What the heck? I thought I'd grab a bigger stack of white sleeves. Oh well. Don't curse us with garbage cards, thanks. I don't have any sleeves left over here. I'm just gonna go actually after this pack, I'm gonna grab some more sleeves. All right, Vector Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. Followed up by a Time Space Trapple. And then we got the Monarch Stormforth. Good card, annoying card. <laughs> the Phantom Knights of Brigandine. And there we go, baby, Dante, Traveler of the Burning Abyss. Nice. All right, sweet, we got a Dante. All right, I'm gonna pause for one second. I'm just gonna go grab some more sleeves real quick. Be right back. All right, guys, I am back and Got some more sleeves. <laughs> Should have brought over a bigger stack. I only brought over like a little handful. All right. Next booster pack. We got that Dante in our last pack. Let's go ahead and open up this next pack here, guys. Pretty good so far. All right. We've got a Black Rose Dragon, followed up by Cosmo Dark Fighter, Dog Fighter, and there's the Radiant Mirror Force. And we've got a number 35, Ravenous Tarantula. And there we go, baby, the Farfa, Malabranch of the Burning Abyss. Probably the other good Burning Abyss card in here. In terms of, I think he's like $4 now, $5. He's going up there, man. The card's pretty good. <laughs> you need to play three of them, too. Hey, there's a blast from the past. Number 11, Big Eye. <laughs> Remember when this card was $100? Insane. And we've got the Cosmo Wicked Witch. Followed up by Fairies Win. I remember this was like a $10 common at one point. Stupid. We got another number 77, the Seven Cents. And then we've got uh, Cagna, Malabranch of the Burning of It's a cool song. I like it. All right, guys. Next booster pack, Infinite Gold, Premium Gold. Norito, the Moral Leader, yet again. Hey, another Cosmo Farm Girl. There's a play set for us. Got another Remove Brainwashing. Hey, Stardust Charge Warrior. Nice. And then Alec, Cow Cab, Graf, see the whole family shows up once again. All right, we've got Arcanite Magician, 
followed up by a horn of heaven. Randomly a gold secret rare. And we got mistaken arrest. Another number 38 Hope Harbinger Dra Dragon Titanic Galaxy. <laughs> wow, nice. Followed up by a Libic Malabranch of the Burning Abyss. Oh my gosh, we have three Hope Harbingers so far. What? That's crazy. Can we find Diz Vorjak? The other prize card. All right, we've got Come Stellar Pleiades. Followed up by the Deep Dark Trap Hole. Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. That's nice. And we got the uh, Phantasmal Lore. Hey, there we go. Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss. Hey, there you go. Another classic exceed. Ga, 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 cowboy. Gold ring. Followed up by another Cosmo Town. I think that's the third one so far. Another number 106 Giant Hand. Oh, baby, that's two. I got one for each of my hands now. Let's go. <laughs> Sweet. And then we got the other Phantom Knight card, Dark Gauntlets. And then another Alec. No Skarms yet. No love for the Skarms. Sweet. We got two Giant Hands. Nice. Double fists in the giant hands. Where's my luster? I want a luster and an ignister. All right, we got another vector, though. Followed up by Cosmo Dark Destroyer number two. And another breakthrough skill. Suit Como Slash. And the Terminus of the Burning Abyss. Nice. Two Dark Destroyers as well. We're getting doubles of, like, this same card. I'm not disappointed in that. We're getting the good cards, like crazy. Can we get another Dante? Can't I? Can we get a Ghost Ogre, man? We got like eight packs left, six packs left, seven packs. Uh huh. Oh, we got a Lightning Shidori. I think Archie Eccentric is in here too. That's a cool card. Treacherous Trap Hole, Blazing Mirror Force, followed up by a number 37 Hope Woman Dragon Spider Shark, and there she is, baby, Ghost Ogre and Snow. Rabbit, gold rare, nice, love it. That looks so sweet, I forgot how cool this card looked. Can we get a second one, guys? That would be super insane. Let's smash that like button. Can we match our maxis with a second ghost ogre gold rare? All right, let's go. Just a few packs left here in our premium gold, infinite gold, two display opening. We got another Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy, Cosmo Light Sword, Mistaken Arrest, The Phantom Knights of Tomb Shield, and there we go, an Archfiend Eccentric, Gold Rare, Naisu. She is my favorite Pendulum card ever printed thus far in Yu-Gi-Oh. I love this card and I have, it, I have an entire page of this card, Secret Rare First Edition. I just love Archfiend Eccentric, man. Like, she's just so powerful, and she's her art is so cool. And just, like, every foil version of her, the gold, the super, or the secret, like, there's just, like, great glisten to it. Like, she just looks really cool. <laughs> just, what a cool card. And it's got a good effect, too. All right, we've got five boosters left. Can we get another Ghost Ogre? Or can we get a Dish Vorjack? Or can we find another Dante? I would love to find another, or just find an Ignister at this point. I would love to find an Ignister. All right, we got another Majestic Paladin though. We got the Void Trap Hole. Another Blazing Mirror Force. Another number 37. And another Max C! That is three Max C's in our 30 packs. That is crazy. Man, the pull ratio on Max C. Crazy good. All right, four booster packs left. Still looking for that second Ghost Ogre. There's still a chance that we can find one, guys. Still a chance. Gotta believe in the heart of the cards. You gotta believe that Konami isn't ripping us off. <laughs> All right, enough jokes aside. Let's get down to this pack. We got Arcanite Magician. And then we got the Fire Hand. Fought up by another Draco face off. Where is my Ignister? <laughs> Come on! Here we got a Junk Karibo, and we got a Libic Malabranch of the Burning Abyss. Three more packs left. I just want an Ignister! Come on, Gold Seer! Give me an Ignister. Alright, we got a Lightning Shidori, 
followed up by another Cosmo Town. Then we've got Reasoning, number 84, Pain Gainer. And there's a Dante, Pilgrim of the Burning Abyss. All right, two packs left. Dang it, I'm a Chester. I want an Ignister. Ah. All right, there's the Cosmo Good Witch. And we've got uh, Fairy's Wind, Shining Hope Road, and another Dante Traveler of the Burning Abyss. Nice. So we got two Dantes. Perfect. And we got a Beatrice. All right, guys, the last pack from our premium gold, infinite gold, double display, showdown. Are we gonna get a Ghost Ogre, number two? How sweet would that be? I mean, just look at these cards so far. We have got some insane pulls. I just want an Ignister! Come on! <laughs> 30 packs and no Ignisters? Jesus. All right, we got Constellar Pleiades. Cosmo Dogfighter. Come on, Ignister. Ignister! Draco face off. <laughs> Rip. No Ignister in this, these uh, this packs. We got a Junk Changer. And last card. Can it be? Seer. <laughs> Malabranch of the Burning Abyss. All right, guys. Let's do a quick recap. This premium gold double display showdown was absolutely insane. We got some pretty good stuff, man. All right, let's go over the chase, the chase cards first, and then we'll get into the big boys. All right, gold rares. Man, I just, I can't believe we got zero Ignisters. Man, <laughs> got like six Majesters, man. No Ignisters, I'm pretty feels bad about that. Dang. I really wanted an Ignister <laughs> Gold Rare. I don't have one anymore. I just got rid of them all. I mean, I had this case opening. I have, like, none of the premium gold stuff. I kept, like, nothing. Because it's just too good to get rid of, man. All right. Let's go. Let's look at our chase cards first. I think we did get a playset, which is super spicy. Playset of Cosmo Dogfighters. Gold Secret Rare. Awesome card to pull a combo with your full force virus. I like it. I like it uh, Let's actually let's just review the Cosmo cards first. I think we got four Cosmo towns here one two three four Yes, we got four Cosmo towns guys nice right there and Then we got not one Not two But three Cosmo Farm Girls. Got a play set of Cosmo Farm Girls. Gold Secret Rare. Those look really cool. I like these. I like the Cosmos. One of my favorite TCG exclusive decks. I like them a lot. Burning Abyss and Cosmos are my favorites from the TCG exclusives. Alright. And that's it for the Cosmo Monsters. The Forerunner and two Wicked Witch for the chase cards. Alright. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at our extra deck cards. So, four fusion monsters. I'm surprised we got zero slip riders. <laughs> like, these boxes were just, like, designed to give me sets or, like, two sets of something. Like, they weren't just variety pack, you know? That's pretty cool. I like that because, like, when it comes to the big cards, we got the nuts. All right, extra deck cards. We got one Chimeric Tech Fortress Dragon and one Dante Pokemon of the Burning Abyss for the um, Fusion Monsters. For Synchro Monsters, we got two Black Rose Dragon Gold Rares and one Gold Secret Rare Stardust Charge Warrior. Synchro Shogun! <laughs> Monster Kato. <laughs> I love that. And then we got... Two Red Eyes Flare Medals. That's good. This card was like... I remember when I opened the case, I didn't get many of this card. He was like one of the elusive um, golds. And we got a number 11 Big Eye. Alright. And then for the non-spelling trap, Chaser Gold, we got one Farfa. Which is great. Because I actually needed a third Farfa Gold Rare for my deck. For my Burning Abyss. I have two left. I only have two. Because I like always was trading and selling them because this card was always really fuck really like 
um, like sought after and high. Like he still is crazy high. All right, spell cards. We've got one E Telly, and we got two Storming Mirror Force. That's great, and then one Mistake. So pretty good. Not too bad. I'm pretty impressed. We got a pretty good stack of Chaser cards. All right. But that's not what we came here for with the Chasers. We came here for the big boys. So let's go ahead, have a drum roll, please. And unleash the beast. <laughs> All right, we got not one, not two, but three Maxis. All right, guys, this is, a, uh, this is my deck profile here for basically every deck from 2011 up until 2015. I play three Maxis, pretty standard. <laughs> I think this card should go back to a three. This card is so healthy for the game. I know people are gonna hate, like, hate for that but like this card at one makes no sense it's just a, it's a sack card and at two it's just like it's all right it's better at three though because you want it's like good if you draw two because it's just like damn i drew two maxis my hand is kind of crappy now it's just you get that feeling when you have three and you can maxi into the other maxi that's just like with one maxi you can't maxi into another maxi if you're going if you're going off so it's like hello I don't know. I think this card's healthy for the game. The game's way too fast, and it's gonna get faster. The links are just way too good. It's just gotta have those max Cs, man. All right. So we got three max Cs. Pretty impressive, to say the least. All right, now. We got two Cosmo Dark Destroyers, too. That's pretty good. Uh, remember, this card was really hard to find in the sets. There was like one per display, or like maybe two per display. Remember some of the displays I opened, I didn't even get a Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Uh, this card was really elusive. Like a very like short print kind of deal. So cool we got one basically per display. Very nice. Alright. Now the extra deck cards. We got this sauce, dude. We did not find a Dijvorjak, but we found two giant hands, man. We're double fists in the giant hands today, boys. Let's go. Number 106 times two. That is sweet. I like it. And we got not one, not two, but three. <laughs> Number 38, Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxies. That's crazy. Three copies of this card. Come on. All right. And then we got one Digusto Emerald, which is pretty cool. And then we've got one Beatrice and two Dantes, Traveler of the Burning Abyss. We basically got... 80% of our Burning Abyss package, or 75%, it's 3 out of 4. 75% of our Burning Abyss extra deck package. Not bad. From two displays, that's pretty good. Because again, Dante was another short printed card. Him and Beatrice are extremely short print cards. So we only got one Beatrice out of 30 packs. Hello? Alright, and then we got the other short print cards in here. Which is basically one every other display. You get an Archfiend Eccentric, or a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. We got one of each. Didn't get the lucky in-betweens where we got two Ghost Ogres, but I'm just happy that we got one. This card is ridiculously expensive. I think it's just like $15 right now for the gold rare. It's crazy good. But that's it, guys. That was our uh, premium gold, infinite gold, two times display showdown. That was a lot of fun. I really like this set. I would love to open some more of this set because it is so good. Just like really good stuff. Like every card in here is worth at least a dollar. Like every card is good. So it's really good value wise. And there's some cool cards. Um, anyways, thank you so much guys for watching. Definitely leave a like, comment, subscribe for more awesome content here on the channel. We got some more stuff to open. So stay tuned for some more awesome videos. Take care guys. Until next time. Signing off.